everybody. I'm John from Rational Acoustics, uh, and we're just demoing the uh, the new version of Smart Seven. Uh, we're about to about to be releasing, uh, and this is uh, the fourth major uh, maintenance release for Smart Seven. Uh, and it should be out in the next couple of weeks. Available to all uh, V7 owners. It's just a free update, so you just reinstall right over the top. Um, so in the new version, we've added a whole bunch of uh, features that people have been asking for lately. Uh, things like peak holds, um, which were in previous versions. Uh, so you'll just be able to have a, a timed or an infinite peak hold display on your spectrum measurement. It's kind of neat. Uh, we also have the ability to do dual uh, spectrograph uh, measurements if you have uh, two plots displayed and, uh, and you have preferred plots. Uh, so you can move a measurement from uh, one plot to another and have two spectrographs being displayed uh, in RTA by just uh, selecting, the, selecting the measurement that you want to be uh, displayed on each one. Let's see if I can get that going here. And it's kind of a useful thing for uh, oops, for uh, for mixers and sound engineers who are just uh, are monitoring multiple inputs at the same time. So that's kind of neat. Um, we've added some other things like user-defined views that can be assigned to hotkeys. So by pressing a hotkey. You can actually go to your favorite view very quickly, and you can assign a custom one yourself. We're also doing user-defined zooms, which are, uh, are from previous versions, where you can assign a uh, specific zoom to a hotkey, um, and then use that to quickly zoom into an area that you need to look at. The biggest thing uh, for this release is impulse response. Uh, we're doing a complete overhaul. So you'll be able to do measurements like RT60 and other intelligibility measurements like you could uh, from acoustic tools before. Um, and then you can also uh, move your decay markers and adjust the measurement uh, as you need to. Um, and that will uh, work its way through all of the intelligibility measurements. And so it's just an image of the all bands table, which has uh, the various intelligibility measurements that we've included, such as STI, STIPA, uh, RT60 for reverberation time. And, uh, and that's pretty much the bulk of it. Impulse Response Mode has a few more features uh, for usability, but uh, definitely check it out. And uh, the upgraded demo will be available as well with all these features. So uh, take a look.